welcome to the second part of this lesson so today we will understand the map of brazil and before that uh, it's important to know where brazil is located so i hope you can see this globe on the screen and you can see uh, the name of all the continents right uh, north america south america africa asia europe australia so okay uh, do you know where brazil is located it's located in south america all right here so okay you can see i have marked uh, I have marked here in South America. This part, which you can see in black and white, it's Brazil, and uh, yes, and I have marked. Uh, and you can, I believe, you must have noticed one more thing, that it's passing through zero degree. Okay, it means it's an equator. So, some part of South America is above the equator. It means it is towards north, and west okay and also towards south but the major part of brazil or south america it's towards south so we need just one latitude and one longitude so we will always say that south america or brazil uh, this country is located in southwest hemisphere okay okay like earlier i told you that uh, some part is located in north direction as well some part of brazil is located in north direction as well so what will be the answer to this third question in which hemisphere does brazil extend in the north south direction right so it is a tricky question brazil actually extend in both the direction north and south direction both so the answer will be simply the brazil extend in north south direction and what about the next question in which hemisphere does brazil extend in east west direction so as we have seen uh, south america okay uh, do you feel that south america falls in eastern hemisphere this is eastern hemisphere okay this is his eastern hemisphere so it falls in west north and south but not in east right so the answer to this question will be brazil extend in the west direction okay not in the east direction which latitude and longitude define the location of the capital of brazil brasilia like earlier we studied uh, to define the uh, to locate delhi which is the capital of india same way we'll follow the same procedure to locate the capital of brazil which is brasilia okay uh, like you must have seen the previous example where we found uh, one latitude and one longitude okay we'll draw again the longitude it uh, it doesn't exactly touch 50 okay 50 is uh, here 50 is here this uh, pink line is 50 so uh, what will be uh, the longitude okay it's 48 degree west longitude right because it is not exactly touching 50 okay and with the help of scale you can measure uh, you know once you have uh, the map of brazil and you can check the same and uh, yes uh, let's say about latitude you can see i've drawn uh, the red line so here it's written 0 degree it means it's equator whatever is above that is north and west okay and uh, whatever is below 0 degree that is south okay so okay uh, in that case um brazilia the error was below 10 degree it means the brazilia is at 16 degree 
16 degrees south right we need one latitude and one longitude so we got the location of uh, Brasilia which is the capital of Brazil what would be the longitudinal extent of Brazil that spreads from 5 degree 15 minute north to 33 degree 45 minute south latitude okay uh, here please notice that they are asking about the extent okay earlier they asked about the location uh, which was similar in the case of Delhi location of a city now they are asking extent of Brazil which is similar to the example of Australia the extent of region okay so if you remember about Australia we took two we found out two latitudes sorry two longitude and two latitude okay it means two parallel and two meridians same here now as they are asking the extent of Brazil will need to parallel means to um, latitude and to longitude but uh, the question is what would be the longitudinal extent of Brazil so we need to find the longitudinal extent of Brazil but the latitude uh, they have already given the latitude of Brazil okay and I hope you notice that it's written 5 degree 15 minute north okay and here the latitude is south I hope you know the reason why it's written north because there is some part uh, of um, some part of Brazil would start from north like uh, to know the extent of region okay we need the starting point and the ending point so as you know that it's zero degree equator and the starting point is here right so with zero degree and it's between zero and suppose 10 degree so what will be the major here it will be five degree and something right so 5 degree and 15 minute north i hope you understood how we got 5 degree uh, 15 minute north now the second one is 33 degree 45 minute south this will be easy uh, it will be the same way as you know that below 0 degree it is south okay and uh, the end of brazil so the brazil is ending here as you can see it's 30 degrees written here so 30 degrees somewhere here and uh, in that case the figure will be be 33 degree 45 minute and south okay you can measure with the help of scale as well and uh, so we understood the question now okay uh, in, the, in the question it's uh, the latitude is written now we have to find the longitude so to find the long for to find the latitude we have drawn this uh, the horizontal line and to find the longitude we have to draw vertical line like this so let's do that okay i have drawn the longitude the one which is here okay you can see this is 50 degree so this will be obviously 40 right 40 degree west and somewhere here will be 30 degree so if you see the line which I have drawn okay this line which I have drawn uh, this one the red line it is between 40 degree and 30 degree okay 40 degree and 30 degree so the okay so the location so the longitude will be 34 degree 45 minute west okay because it's between 40 degree and 30 degree so with the help of scale we'll be able to measure that and uh, yes uh, the other will be the one which is here okay the one which is here the horizontal line and uh, here but we are not able to see what's written above but with this we can find out if it's, this is 50 this will be 60 this will be 70 line comes between 70 degree and 80 degree okay so this line is 70 degree and it comes between 80 degree 
so it will be somewhere around 73 degree 73 degree 59 minute okay west okay uh, so there's one more thing to notice in this question you saw north and south both mentioned here but uh, when we are finding out uh, when we find out the longitude both the answers will be in west because as we learned earlier that south america is only in western hemisphere it's not in eastern hemisphere yeah, but that's not the case of uh, you know that's not the case of latitude right okay so let's move to the next question which parallel and meridians should be used to describe the extent of river sao francisco so we'll use the same method uh, method uh, which we used for river nile if you remember for river, to find out um, about the extent of river nile we uh, we have taken the latitude and longitude of the start point which was lake victoria and the end point uh, of mediterranean sea near the city of alexandria so same thing we are going to do here as well we will take the start point and the end point but we will need the latitude longitude of both okay okay let's see this is the start point of river san francisco and this is the end point of river francis Sa uh, river sao francisco okay now uh we need to find out okay if you see here the start point uh the start point of river sao francisco i've drawn a circle so from the start point uh, there is uh, a line which is passing by and you can see it's written 20 degree and it's below 20 degree it means uh the latitude is 21 degree south now we need to also find the longitude of the start point so if you see here it's between 40 degree and 50 degree so if we made you with the help of scale the figure will be 47 degree and uh, 47 degree 30 minute west okay so we uh, got the latitude and longitude of the start point now we need the latitude and longitude of the end point if we will take the uh, latitude and longitude of the end point so uh, if you zoom this map you will we, you will be able to see this blue line okay this blue line here which passes through san francisco that help me to find the end point of it okay and this pink line which i have drawn this is the longitude of the end point so if you see this uh, pink line here it's 40 degree and here it's 30 so the pink line is between 40 and 30 and if we measure with the help of a uh, scale we'll find that uh, the end point is actually 36 degree 30 minute west so you can see the pink line here again pink line okay uh, so if you see that it uh, if it is about 10 okay it's between 0 and 10 so the figure if we measure the figure will come 7 degree 30 minute south okay so that's the latitude so we got the latitude and longitude of the start of the river and also the end of the river okay that is the uh that is the location for river uh, sao uh, sao francisco next question is describe the location of marajo island using the graticule now if you see here the marajo island is here and uh, the longitude uh, is 51 degree because um, it is not straight to 50 degree the marajo island is not straight it is little uh towards um left side so because of which it's 51 degree it's little towards this side and um 
about um, the latitude it's not exactly touching zero degree it's little about zero degree so the latitude is here zero degree sorry zero point zero four degree north and uh, about longitude the answer is 51 degree west okay okay i hope you understood the map of brazil okay i will uh, teach you further in the next video thank you